Sir Patrick, Rihanna, and Lily, can each of you describe your character in this film, please? Sure. Um. Yeah. So Alex is this ordinary boy, and he's you know just like anyone else. And uh, one day he he's getting chased by bullies, and he stumbles across this building site. And in the building site, there's a, a sword, and he makes the mistake of pulling it out. Um, and then he realizes he has to go on this massive adventure to save uh, Britain. Um, my character Kay is one of the school bullies along with my co-star Tom Taylor who plays Lance and Kay is this strong powerful and rather tough female character but as the film develops and progresses we come to learn that she is rather scared and vulnerable and sensitive so I feel like that contrast within her character is very interesting. They are aware that the world that they're living in is uh, in a disturbed state. And so when the sword is found by Alex and he learns what is expected of him from both Merlins, he is given the duty of taking care of other people, of looking after them and of helping them have better and safer lives. And I think that's a, a remarkable part of what this movie does. Thank you. Yeah. Rihanna and Lily, what was it like for you to work with Sir Patrick Stewart? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Working with Sir Patrick Stewart was, was quite cool, wasn't it? Yes. It was amazing. And uh, he's a sound guy. Yeah. He's great. On set, he would. He would tell us like yeah, stories, stories from from his previous jobs, and he'd give us yeah. the best advice. He's a very nice man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Now I have a question for you, Sir Patrick. What was it like for you to play a legendary character like Merlin? It was great fun, uh, and I I hope you saw what yeah. fun it was. Uh, the clothes that I was wearing, the crazy hair, <clears throat> and um. And working, of course, which I've done very little of with much, much younger actors. Um, every element like that made this interesting, entertaining, and, um, and confirming of the power that making films can have. Thank you. Sir Patrick, what were your main reasons for wanting to do this film? Um, because I've always, I, I wanted to do this film because I've always loved the Arthurian legend and I've known about it since I was, oh, I suppose, eight or nine. I had an English teacher who taught it at school and I was in a film a long time ago called Excalibur, which was the Arthurian legend but set in medieval times and I had a one-man show I did about King Arthur. So. Um, it's clearly something that's been a very important part of my life. And I hope we make a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that would be really cool. Okay. Rihanna, Rihanna and Lil, Lil, what are some of the similarities and differences between you and the character you play in the film? I think my first difference <laughs> is very clear. Kay is a bully, and I hope I'm not a bully. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kay, is, Kay starts off as a mean character and um, that's a clear difference between her and I but I think we share the same underlying fear that we're not gonna be able to fit in in the world and in, in, the, in terms of our futures we're not going to be able to fulfill our duties say as people but we do share the same strength and mm -hmm. passion I think I am similar to Alex in that he doesn't give up and when he wants to do something, he won't stop doing it until he's done it. So I think that sense of uh, you know, continuing to do something until you've done it is, is what I'm quite similar. And I, I don't, genuinely, I, I don't really get um, bullied as, as, much as, um, as much as Alex and, and I haven't lost my dad. But playing someone who has, it was really special. I think that's really cool. Everyone, everyone. How did you like working with 
with director Joe Corn. Wow, um, working with Joe was amazing. Uh, you know, the script that he wrote was genius and making that into life was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, for us having our writer and director in one person was absolutely amazing and Joe has this image that he's had since he was very young, so it was very cool to be a part of something like that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Sir Patrick, Ariana, and Lily, can each of you describe your character in this film, please? Sure. Um. Yeah. So Alex is this ordinary boy, and he's you know just like anyone else. And uh, one day he he's getting chased by bullies, and he stumbles across this building site. And in the building site, there's a, a sword, and he makes the mistake of pulling it out. Um, and then he realizes he has to go on this massive adventure to save uh, Britain. Um, my character Kay is one of the school bullies along with my co-star Tom Taylor who plays Lance and Kay is this strong powerful and rather tough female character but as the film develops and progresses we come to learn that she is rather scared and vulnerable and sensitive so I feel like that contrast within her character is very interesting. They are aware that the world that they're living in is uh, in a disturbed state. And so when the sword is found by Alex and he learns what is expected of him from both Merlins, he is given the duty of taking care of other people, of looking after them and of helping them have better and safer lives. And I think that's a, a remarkable part of what this movie does. Thank you. Thank you. Rihanna and Lily, what was it like for you to work with Sir Patrick Stewart? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Working with Sir Patrick Stewart was, was quite cool, wasn't it? Yes. It was amazing. And uh, he's a sound guy. Yeah. He's great. On set, he would... He would tell us like yeah, stories, stories. From, from his previous jobs and he'd give us yeah. the best advice. He's a very nice man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> now I have a question for you, Sir Patrick. What was it like for you to play a legendary character like Merlin? It was great fun. Uh, and I, I hope you saw what yeah. fun it was. Uh, the clothes that I was wearing, the crazy hair. <clears throat> and... Um, and working, of course, which I've done very little of, with much, much younger actors. Um, every element like that made this interesting, entertaining, and, um, and confirming of the power that making films can have. Thank you. Um, Sir Patrick, what were your main reasons for wanting to do this film? Um, because I've always, I, I wanted to do this film because I've always loved the Arthurian legend and I've known about it since I was, oh, I suppose eight or nine. I had an English teacher who taught it at school and I was in a film a long time ago called Excalibur, which was the Arthurian legend, but set in medieval times and I had a one-man show I did about King Arthur. So. Um, it's clearly something that's been a very important part of my life. And I hope we make a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be really cool. Okay. Rihanna, Rihanna, and Lil, Lil, what are some of the similarities and differences between you and the character you play in the film? I think my first difference <laughs> is very clear. Kay is a bully, and I hope I'm not a bully. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kay, is, Kay starts off as a mean character and um, that's a clear difference between her and I but I think we share the same underlying fear that we're not gonna be able to fit in in the world and in, in, the, in terms of our futures we're not going to be able to fulfill our duties say as people but we do share the same strength 
and mm. passion? I think I am similar to Alex uh, in that he doesn't give up and when he wants to do something, he won't stop doing it until he's done it. So I think that sense of uh, you know, continuing to do something until you've done it is, is what I'm quite similar. And I, I don't genuinely, I, I don't really get um, bullied as, as much as um, as much as Alex, and, and I haven't lost my dad. But playing someone who has, it was really special. I think that's really cool. If you want to read a lesson. How did you like working with director Joe Clark? Well, um, working with Joe was amazing. Uh, you know, the script that he wrote was genius and making that into life was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, for us having our writer and director in one person was absolutely amazing and Joe has this image that he's had since he was very young, so it was very cool to be a part of something like that. So, what is this film about? The Kitty Will Be King is the story of Alex, who's a normal, modern British kid. He's kind of a nobody. And one day he's being chased by bullies. He stumbles onto a construction site and finds the mythical sword in the stone. He doesn't believe it's that at first. He doesn't know what it is. But then mysterious things start happening in his life. A kid claiming to be Merlin arrives at his school and undead knights start coming out of the ground and trying to attack him. And this is the beginning of a spectacular, epic adventure for Alex and his friends. Now, what were your biggest challenges in making this film? Kitty Would Be King is a big, spectacular action adventure movie, so there were a lot of challenges when we made it. We were working with a very young cast and asking them to do all sorts of physical action, comedy, emotional stuff. We shot in locations right across Britain in London, in the uh, Cornish countryside. Uh, we shot on huge sets. We had sword fights and explosions and chases and car chases and massive armies and battles. Nothing was easy. The whole thing was a challenge, but it was all worth it. That was great. Um, and now, what, speaking of working with uh, young actors, how was it working with young actors like uh, Louis Ashburn Circus and Rihanna Doris? You know, one of the great things about working with young people is they bring a real positivity and excitement and energy to the set. Every day is a challenge and an adventure. They're excited to be in the movie. It's, it, 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 it's a fresh journey for them like it is for me as an actor. So it also makes everyone, it makes the grown-ups behave themselves on the set. You know, so it elevates the whole process of doing it and makes it a real joy. Yeah, they are spectacular kids. Truly yeah, spectacular. Yeah. Um, what do you hope audiences will take away from this film? I hope audiences will have a great time watching The Kid Who Would Be King. I hope they'll laugh, I hope they'll cheer, I hope they'll feel emotional, but most of all, I hope they'll be uplifted. It's a message about kids coming together, making a difference, changing the world. Uh, so I hope they get a positive, uplifting, and joyful message as well as a really good time. That's perfect. And now speaking of that, the themes of the film, they're so powerful. What would you say is the theme that you are really trying to, to hone in on? when creating it. The main theme of the movie is that any kid can be a king or a queen. If you have the right values, if you persevere, if you honor those you love, if you refrain from wanton offense, if you obey these basic rules of civility and chivalry, you can achieve great things in the world. 